Good evening, and welcome to Newcastle After Dark. We are your hosts, the management, coming to you from the land of the viaduct and friendules, bringing you films that are a feast for the mind. Tonight's film is 1971's Hammer Horror Classic, Twins of Evil, starring Peter Cushing. This has Damian Thomas, Mary and Madeline Collinson, and Dennis Price. And this is a later Hammer film, but we're still very pleased to be able to bring it to you. You know, there's so many great Hammer films we wish we could bring you, and here finally is one that we can. Yes. Now, as Hammer got into the early 70s, you know, their films became a little more risque. Mm -hmm. Uh, Subject matter was a little bit more racy. Yeah. But this one doesn't have that. Uh, It is more darker subject matter, Mm -hmm. but that's what makes this one good. It does. And as they moved into the 70s, you know, a lot of critics and fans didn't consider these to be as good as the classic Hammer period. Yes. But I think this film has all the atmosphere and feel of any of those great classic Hammer films. Every bit of it. Yeah. Absolutely. So sit back, relax, and enjoy 1971's Twins of Evil. mercy on this poor, unfortunate creature. She is a child of the devil, but we ask thee in thy great goodness to save her soul. We commend unto thee her earthly body and seek to purify its spirit. Let us pray.
Karnstein Castle. It's beautiful. Just like a fairy tale. Whoever owns that must be rich. Who lives there? Count Karnstein. Count Karnstein. We've never been here before. We come from Venice. you'd like to go to your room now and change. Change? Your uncle will be back soon. Of course. You'd like us to look our best. Oh, no. I mean, yes. Well, that is, we do things differently from Venice, you see. No, I don't see at all. What I mean is that had you lived in Karnstein, you would still be wearing black. Why? But Aunt Cathy, it's not lack of respect. We wore black for more than two months. Until last week. Well, we do things differently here. Your uncle wouldn't like it. He's a very religious man. We didn't bring any black. Well, perhaps something more sober. Yes, of course, if you'd like. Well, thank you, Maria. I'll show you your room. What kind of plumage is this? For birds of paradise? Maria, Frida, this is your Uncle Gustav. Do you know the fourth commandment? Which one is that? Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. Uncle, we didn't mean to offend you. Parents are not yet cold in their graves. Your room is at the top of the stairs. The door is open. Gustav, I'll get you a meal. There is no need. I am going out. There is a meeting of the Brotherhood. has been accursed to the evil of some who abide here. But the signs are plain. God is calling on us who believe in his holy word to stamp out that evil. Yes. Yes. To seek out the devil worshippers and to purify their spirits so that they may find mercy at the seat of the Lord by burning them! <laughs> One. Speak, brother. There is a cottage in the woods. A young girl lives there alone, refuses to take a husband. They say she has many husbands. She's a creature of the devil. Wicked. Immoral. Burn her! Burn her! Burn her! Stay! Burn her!
bed at nine o'clock. You'd think we were ten years old. You'd better put out the candles. Uncle Gustav might be back. Let him come. I don't care. I'm thinking about Aunt Kathy. Yes. She's terrified of him. God, how would you like to be married to a man like that? I'm sure he means no harm. Oh, no. He's a man of God. Too good to be true. I know he's kind. What do you mean? I can just imagine. If he came back now and saw the lights on in here, that would give him an excuse to come in. Frida, don't you know men like that? Didn't you ever notice them in the park when we were little girls? With funny staring eyes. Frida, stop it. You see if I'm not right. He'd love to find us doing something wrong, just to punish us. It would give him a thrill. I'm not going to listen. All right, but let me tell you, it's going to be hell living in this house. But what can we do? Uncle Gustav is our guardian now. He may be yours. He's not going to be mine. Not for long. I'm going away from here. Oh. I'll find a way. What's the meaning of this vial? Out witch hunting again. You've come to the wrong place. We seek the servants of the devil. Well, you found one. Me. Now get out. Don't let them bother you. Some men like a musical evening. Vile and his friends find their pleasure through burning innocent girls. Innocent? You do not know the meaning of the word. Well, I know the meaning of the word intrusion. Do you? You are arrogant, Count Karnstein, because you have the protection of the court, of the emperor himself. But there is a higher authority. Tell that to the Emperor. God will have his revenge. Mind he doesn't have it on you. Now get out! <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Gustav Weil and his brave band in search of women. <laughs> Here! <laughs> You can have Goethe, if you like, if you want some excitement. You'll feel better, then. You won't go around burning pretty girls. Let him shoot, Joachim. The Emperor will hang them all. A public hanging in the square, Vile. You mustn't have all the pleasure yourself. Everyone enjoys a good hanging. Pray for me, Vile. That's what you're supposed to do for sinners, isn't it? Pray for me!
blood. The devil has struck again. Not the devil himself, but his servants. She lives not two kilometers from here. You see, I warned you. The Lord will light our path. Let us ride! devoted to sinful pleasures, the pursuit of lust. Is it any wonder that the devil comes amongst us? But God's will shall prevail. Amen. Frida. Shh. Their wickedness will not be tolerated long. The Lord will send word to his servants. Do not doubt it. Gustav, be careful. The Count has important friends. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And sinners. Every one of them. They meet at the castle and hold debauched gatherings. Men and women strip naked, they say. Indulge in pagan rites. Practice the black arts. They worship the devil. They're all slaves to Count Karnstein, and he is their evil master. They shall Don't not... Stop. The girls, please. The sooner Karnstein is exposed to what he is, the better it will be for everyone. His evil practices cast a shadow over our countryside, over our lives. Young girls from the villages are abducted by Karnstein's lackeys and initiated into unspeakable ceremonies. Karnstein and his friends. Marie, come and look. Frida, come to bed. You can see the light of the castle from here. You know what I want more than anything else. To meet Count Karnstein. Centaur Deus Novus, Codesta Vergina Preparis Te Sacrificium. Novis Polaris in Sanctum Diabolus. Animalum Sangui Prova Nostra Fideles. Torna con sangue umana in sacrificio. Satana te adoro, saremo minion. Flagele noi per mono. Your Excellency is pleased with the entertainment. 
con vestidio. Satana, Satana, mostrate in... He's calling up the devil. Well, so can I. Or you. But will the devil come? Fresh blood? The guts of a chicken or a suckling pig. The devil won't be cheated as easily as that, Dietrich. Your Excellency is pleased with the girl? A peasant, bought for a few gold coins. Can you never find anything new, different? Oh, no, my lord, I try. They say that Gustav Weil has two pretty nieces staying with him. Twins? That would be something different. Your Excellency is pleased to joke. We do not want trouble with a man like Weil. I don't know why I employ you, Dietrich. You bore me personally, and everything you do for me I find tedious, including this charade. Look, he is possessed. Your manifestation of the devil. Look, I've exorcised him. You are charlatans, all of you. Get out! Forgive me, my lord. No. Leave her. Oh, of course. And now go. Yes, at once. Your Excellency knows that I endeavor to do my utmost to please him. They knew. They didn't play at being wicked. They worship the devil and he taught them delights that you will never know. Of punishment. Inflicting and receiving it. Of torture. And death. Yes. Of death. And of pleasures beyond the grave. Something you could not even comprehend. But I know. Go, Dietrich. Good night, my lord. of darkness. I am weary of this world and its pathetic pleasures. Teach me to reach beyond the flesh. Reveal yourself to me that I may bow down before you and be your servant. Give me the power to do your evil. No, no, please. No. In the token of my faith, no. I offer you this woman. No.
Peter, what are you doing? Nothing. Just looking. The storm is beautiful. And when the lightning flashes, you can see Karnstein Castle. Frida! Mercala. Mercala. He sent you? Yes. Must I give my life? Your soul. Your body remains on Earth. You will be of the undead. When? Now. I can't see you. We are the undead, and the mirror sees only the living. We walk the earth, but we exist only in hell. are coming through this way. We're not far from the village now. Of. It's just the men of the village out hunting. That awful sound. <laughs> They're killing the boar, you see. Don't worry. Ingrid Hoffer, who runs the school here. 
Her brother Anton is the choir master. I'm sorry that Anton isn't here. He's hunting. Oh. We passed him on the way. I expect he won't be long. They're coming now. Girls, back to your places. What is there to look at? You've seen the men coming back from hunting before. Shall we sit down? The girls are always happy for any excuse to stop work for a few moments. I expect you two are just the same. Oh. Come and meet our new pupils. Come on. Anton, this is Frida and this is Maria. No, no, I'm Frida. I'm Maria. I can't tell the difference between them. Nor can I, but it seems Anton can. What do you mean? Well, just look at him. I saw you ride by. While you were hunting? Yes. It seems to be everyone's occupation here. Hunting of one kind or the other. What do you mean? Boars in the morning and witches at night. Oh? Who told you about that? No one told me anything. I listened. To your uncle? Yes. Don't blame me for that. I take no part in it. Don't you? No. I think it's barbaric. But superstition dies very hard here. You wouldn't understand. I don't want to. I hate it here. Your uncle is misguided, perhaps. But he's a good man. Perhaps I don't like good men. Anton! Maria was asking about the history of Karnstein. I told her you were the expert. It's all here, Maria, in this book. Look, I'll show you. And it's still a mystery. I can assure you it's true. Myth and magic are interwoven for the peasants of Karnstein. Where's Frida? Sir! This is my niece. It is a pleasure to make her acquaintance. My words were not an introduction. But a warning. Go in. At once! Sir? You are impertinent. I am not a peasant. And I acknowledge only one lord. Both my nieces will be instructed never to speak to you again. got us into enough trouble. No supper and early to bed. Is that all you ever think about? Yourself? Don't be so greedy. But if anyone comes and finds you gone, there will be a terrible scene. No one is going to notice, stupid. I don't know what you're complaining about. All you have to do is go to sleep. I'm not asking you to come with me. I wouldn't dare. I know you wouldn't. You're scared of your own shadow and terrified of dear Uncle Gusta. Yes, I am. Well, I'm not. I don't care if he does find me gone. The Count will protect me. Frida, I beg you, think about what you're doing. Everyone says he's a wicked man. What about it? Who wants to be good if being good is singing hymns and praying all day long? He's doing what's best for us, I'm sure. It might be best for you. It's not for me. I'm going and you might as well stop arguing about it. And I warn you, if you dare tell on me, Frida, you know I wouldn't do that. I'm just telling you. You know what will happen if you do. Stop it, you're hurting me. Not half as much as I will if you don't keep quiet. <laughs> They're all in bed now. No one will notice. And don't lie awake waiting for me. And don't worry. I shan't be long. Frida, I beg you, don't go. I've warned you once. 
You know what I'll do to you if you make any trouble, don't you? Don't you? To Satan. Dear Trick, you're not amusing us tonight. What's wrong? It is nothing, my lord. It must be something. Don't make a secret of it. Tell us. Uh, perhaps a little later, my lord, in private. It is a personal matter. Ah. <laughs> a young lady, I'm sure. What is it? Did she run away from you? She disappeared a few nights ago. I do not know what happened. Disappeared? Then it must have been your magicians. Perhaps their spells really did work. Her parents blame me. You must have a very bad reputation, Dietrich. They are threatening to rep to the authorities. They had better not do that, Dietrich. It might be very bad for you. You must pay them. All peasants are insatiably greedy, aren't they, my dear? Come. No more of your love life, Dietrich. It's too boring. Joachim, more wine. Everyone's so dull this evening. Goethe, you're worse than Dietrich. If it is your pleasure, my lord, I'll go. No, it is not my pleasure. You'll stay. I want to know what you think of Frida. Don't you think she's beautiful? She's all right. That's not a very handsome compliment. You're not jealous, I hope. I am a simple peasant girl, my lord. We can be bought for a few pieces of gold. Now you're being insolent, girl. Get her. Silence, Dietrich. You need to be taught a lesson. Don't you think so? Yes. Yeah. Then we'll punish her together. No! My lord, I apologize. If you'll permit me to leave. You're Kim. You don't mind, do you, if we 
play with Goethe. You are very beautiful. For you, all pleasures should be supreme. And one supreme pleasure is to take a human life. But for all our pleasures, we must pay. Will you pay? Look, what do you see? We are the undead, immortal. No man can harm us unless he bores a stake through our hearts or beheads us. No one is protected from us unless they hold the hated cross. You're a vampire. Yes, I can savor the most extreme of Satan's delights. I can feed on the blood of a human victim. No. Not me. It is a test. One who is dedicated to the devil and his deeds will not die by a vampire's bite, but will become one of the undead. A vampire. The good and the innocent die. Welcome back. Well, here we have the beginnings of our film. And once again, the great and fantastic Peter Cushing. Yeah. And this was his first film after his wife had passed away. Yes. And if you go back to our channel and watch some of the films that came afterwards, you can see how physically it affected him. Yeah. I don't think he ever really got over it. No, I don't think he did. Yeah. And that's sad, but his performances were still great. Oh, yeah. Um, He's tough in this one. He is. Yeah. Uh, also in this film, you have David Warbeck, who plays Anton, the music teacher. He was in Fulci's The Black Cat and The Beyond. Mm-hmm. Um, Dennis Price, um, he was in Rites of Frankenstein, which is an erotic horror movie. Yes. The tagline for that one was, he got a bone of his own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, playing Count Karnstein, you have Damien Thomas who was in The Message. Uh, he was in uh, Pirates. And also Shogun, the TV miniseries. Mm -hmm, from the 80s. Yes, and he gained a lot of fame from it. Mm -hmm. um, Mary and Madeline Collinson, they are the twins, and they were from Malta. So in this film, their accents were somewhat heavy, so they were overdubbed. And there seemed to be a lot of that. I mean, like we were talking, they had mm -hmm. done it to Ingrid Pitt, too. I mean, they did it to Ingrid Pitt. Yeah. Everybody's getting it. <laughs> right. Now, this was directed by John Huff. Yeah. Um, he had directed Legend of Hell House. And Escape from Witch Mountain. Mm -hmm. And the music is done by Harry Robertson. Yeah. Uh, he had worked on The Oblong Box, um, Countess Dracula, and uh, The Vampire Lovers. Yes. Now, the interesting fact about him, not only did he do a ton of Hammer music, but his real name was Henry Robinson. And back in the 60s, when he did his first score for Hammer, his check 
was misspelled. It said Harry Robertson. So he opened a bank account under that name. Yeah. And was like, hey, you need some tunes. Call Harry Robertson. I'm here. That's it. That's why I'm cashing my checks. <laughs> yeah, I'm cashing my checks, right? man. Yeah. I'm it. Yeah. Um, this is the third story in the Karstein stories. Yes. Um, you have the vampire lovers, lust for a vampire, and of course, this one here. Yes. And this one was the least accurate compared to the novels. Yeah. They added the witch finder element and other elements, but this story is still very good. It is. So, I think we're off to a good start. Definitely. So, let's get back to Twins of Evil. sacrifice they are frightened is that an excuse for wanton cruelty five people have been found dead three others have disappeared and three young girls have been burned at the stake add those lives to the total anton i know how you feel no you don't you think i'm just angry but it's more than that i feel sick with fear and revulsion against myself. Anton. Yes. Because I'm such a coward. Oh, Ingrid. How much longer can decent people stand by and watch this reign of terror by Gustav Weil and his religious friends? But what can we do? Oh, I know some of those poor girls were innocent. I'm sure they were. But... Anyone poor? living alone and not a devoted member of the church. Anyone young and pretty, because then their morals are questionable. But Gustav has young and pretty nieces. Ah, under his protection. That's probably just as well. We have a great many admirers. Frida in particular. Did you think I wouldn't notice, Anton? I'm afraid it's rather obvious. But why Frida, though? Maria seems much nicer to me. Since one can hardly tell the difference between them. Oh, I can. Maria is very nice, probably much nicer than Frida. But Frida has a kind of fire inside her. I can almost feel it burning when I'm near to her. And she has a strange, mysterious quality. Maria is like an open book. While with Frida, one feels you could go on learning about her forever. I suppose it depends on what there is to learn. Still, it's a very romantic notion. The only trouble is... What? If you want to court Gustav Weil's niece, you'd better not offend him. Someone has got to do something. <laughs> Together soon. Although, in a way, I like having our uncle as my protector. Frida, you must stop it. Uncle Gustav is bound to find out soon. I can't keep covering up for you. I don't want to. You will do what I tell you. But it was only luck he didn't find out today. He knew you weren't here. He what? Oh, it was all right. I pretended to be you, and he can't tell the difference between us. That's all right, then. Except that he thrashed me with his belt, because he said I was telling lies about not knowing where you were. Where you were? Yes, and tomorrow I'll get beaten again for being me, because I wasn't home at dusk. Oh, my poor Maria. It isn't fair. 
I think tomorrow you ought to pretend to be me. If he ever touches me, I'll kill him. Frida, what's happened to you? Ever since you went away that night, you seem like a different person. Yes. It's a lovely song, Anton. We'll leave you to finish it in peace. Right? Come on. for you. Gustav. Want to sit down? You sent a letter to the elders of our church complaining of my ungodly behavior. Yes. They have written to me asking that I investigate whether you are a servant of the devil. Great deal? Yes. Books on black magic? Vampires? I study history and superstition as a part of. Superstition? Do you not believe in the existence of the devil? I believe that wickedness exists in every man. Then tell me now, do you believe in the existence of God? Not in the cruel and vengeful being that you believe in which must always take a life for a life. Burning purifies! Not if you know anything about vampires. By burning, you char the body. The soul will only recreate itself in another body and continue with its carnage. Only a stake through the heart or decapitation can end their torment of evil. If vampires exist, you know they exist. There are many things. Even men of learning do not understand. If you ever interfere with the ways of the Brotherhood again, you will suffer. Take care, Anton, for your own sake. And your sisters. Gustav, I... The little youthful maiden Come unto my great heart For my heart and the sea and the heaven Are melting away with love I'm sure you must be sending me away for some other reason 
Why the sudden concern for Aunt Heidi? I'm worried about her. She must be ill, she would have written. Anyway, a few days away will do you good. But I'm all right. It's you who seem nervous and upset. So why don't you go? And what about the school? Oh, I can take the girls. For crochet work? For extra choir practice. All right, I'll go. But I think you want to be left alone with someone. And I can guess who. What else did he say? I don't know. I didn't hear it all. Aunt Kathy shut the door. Something about everyone going on trial from now on for complicity with the devil. So that the whole village can see how just and lawful they are, I suppose. But he didn't threaten Anton. I'm not sure. He had some kind of a grudge against him. What do you care? Are you in love with him? Of course not. The rest of the girls seem to be. I'm not. Frida. Frida. You won't go out tonight, will you? Please. I get so frightened. Don't you realize, if I stayed, I might... Oh, leave me alone! I regret my sister cannot be present this morning. An aunt of ours in the next village has taken sick. I hope she'll be back this afternoon, but in the meanwhile, I shall be taking her classes. However, as I'm not really competent to instruct you in the art of needlecraft, <laughs> we shall be having extra choir practice instead. Sir, can we have your song? Well... Please. All right. Is it a hymn, sir? My father only allows us to sing hymns. It's a uh, kind of a hymn. Ready? So, schoolmaster, you do not believe in the devil. What's the meaning of this? I demand an explanation. Gustav, what kind of a charade is this? A victim of the vampires you scorn found this morning. This is a schoolhouse, not a burial place. You're disgusting, barbaric, all of you. Now get out! These girls are all our kin. We leave to you the training of their voices. But we teach them the path to God and the byways of the devil. No, I forbid it! Let them all see. And learn your lesson, choir master.
child, you should not be out so late. Maria? Or is it Frida? Your uncle will be very angry. child. Frida, yes. I can believe anything of her. A lot has happened that you don't know about. It might have been better if I had known. Why? So that you can beat the devil out of her? Yes. Have you ever thought that you might have helped to beat the devil into her? The young must be chastised. I will not let you touch Maria. The Brotherhood will want to see her. Then let them see her now, asleep. Sleep. And clasping the Holy Cross to her breast. And you'd call her a daughter of the devil. Sleep. I asked the apothecary to give her a potion to calm her. The way you appeared, ranting and raving, I was fearful for her state of mind. Woman, in what state of mind do you think I was? Truly, I cannot imagine. I have tried always to be a good man. Yes, you've tried. And Frida, what will become of her? Can nothing be done for her? The spirit exorcised. Brotherhood. They will decide. No. Frida, don't go, please, not to that man, he's wicked, Count Karnstein, Frida, Count Karnstein, don't go to the castle, not tonight, please.
hour grows late. Why delay any longer? Let us burn her now. But we agreed only two days ago that we would hold a trial. Yeah. What is that to hear? Weren't we all there? Aye. Just because she's Gustav's niece. Brother, pray that your family may not be stricken. And where is Gustav? Guilty. Then she must burn. I'm coming. I'm coming. I knew you'd come. You will be Maria now, unsuspected, good and kind and virginal. Think of the havoc you can cause. Quickly, we must change them. We must hurry. Your uncle and his Puritans are on their way here. Brothers, we have seen death enough this night. Let it be at dawn. No! No! no. Why give the devil time to come to the aid of his servants? Burn her now! Yes. 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 I've only just heard. It's not true about Frida. Yes. But it's madness. What proof of you? Any of you? The proof of our own eyes. Oh, no. All of us. But Maria, don't you see? If you kill Frida, you'll kill Maria too. You can do nothing for Frida. Maria is at the house. Oh. 
proof will need it. Look how the devil's own sleep, careless of their sins. Maria? Maria. Where is your aunt? I don't know. Is she not in the house? No. Then we're alone. The devil has taken your mind. Hold up a holy cross and see if either of us flinch.
Wait! Where is her sister? With Count Karnstein. Oh, Lord. Lord, forgive me. Will you dare burn him? Yes! But the Emperor would send soldiers to burn our homes, our churches. Oh, yes. You're very quick to ride out into the forest, to seek out a young girl or a mad old man. Anyone you can use as a convenient sacrifice to your conscience. But when it comes to the great lord of the castle, though you know he worships evil, you hesitate. We are not afraid. We serve the lord. He is our protection. Then let him be your protection. And seek out the evil you fear where it really is. And the castle on the hill, where the Karnsteins have practiced every evil known to man for centuries. With their master, the devil. Yes. Then why doesn't the emperor act? Because every man, king or peasant, is afraid of the devil. But there comes a time when courage must outweigh fear. When a belief in the Lord must be. Not a pious belief. But a reality. In the face of death and damnation. Yes. If Count Karnstein is a vampire, then no ruler on earth will save him! No! Burning is useless! Fire will not vanquish vampires! You must stake them through the heart or cut off their heads! Sharpen the end of your wooden stakes! Use lances! Axes! Antoine. Is it true, a stake through the heart, or decapitation, returns the victim's innocence, sends their soul to God? If one spark of God's spirit remains in them, yes. <laughs> Is with our cause to the castle. Hey! You are shivering. Is it the night air or fear of your uncle Gustav? I often wondered if this would happen. And it has. Well, let them come. But... But what? Are you frightened? No. Of that lovely white flesh burning in their fires of purification? Let us go. Quickly. Why? Fire will not burn us. It will melt our bodies, but without pain. We will just laugh at them and find new bodies and new victims. Yes, Joachim, we know they are coming. We are waiting for them. They have crosses. And stakes. And axes. Anton! No. We will take the old tunnel. No, Joachim. Someone must hold them off. You must go that way. Franz, see the 
women stay back here. We must guard every tunnel. Constantine must be found. No, wait. We must find Constantine first. Follow me. Take her to the chapel. What is it, child? What's the matter? I don't know. I suddenly felt terrible pain, but something's happened to Frida. I must find her. No, wait! <laughs> right, you two over there, the rest of you spread out! Come on! Frida is dead. You must take Maria back to the village. Maria is gone. Where? She went to find her sister. Oh, God! You must find her quickly. be somewhere. We can only trust in God. <laughs> now, join your sister. No! Oh, Gustav. I have waited a long time for this moment. And I too. <laughs> Thank you. 
just one blow vile, and it must be here, or you will join the devil's souls. <laughs> we've reached the conclusion of Twins of Evil. And though we've said it many times before, we're going to say it again. Those times aren't for us. No. You know, I can't imagine going back and living in the 1600s. Um, it was it was filthy. It was hard. I mean, you probably didn't eat well. You didn't live long. No. No. And unless you were royalty. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there weren't many royals. No, I mean, as the common folk. Yes. It and was a hard life. Hard life. And imagine that you're trying to do your own thing. You live in the woods. You got your little mud hut. <laughs> you're living out there, eating your magic mushrooms and, you know. Right. You know, taking yeah. care of yourself. Yeah. They're going to burn you up because, you know. That's weird to them. Exactly. You're yeah. a witch or no. a devil worshiper. Exactly. And, you know. We had talked about that. Had given the choice of, you know, fire or beheading, cut my head off. Oh, you can cut my head off. Yeah. Look, you don't have to interrogate me. I'm going to give it up. I'm going to tell them. Right. I'm the worst. <laughs> right. Warlock you ever found. Right. You, you got to cut my head off yeah. so I don't come Do back. Do it now. And that's it. I'm going to make them cut my right. head off. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. They're not, they're yeah. not going to burn me up. No. Mm -mm. Nope. That was terrible. Yeah. Now, Mary and Madeline Collinson, they gained their initial fame from posing nude in Playboy magazine. Yeah. yeah. As the first set of twins to pose nude. Which, which, is, which is a little odd. Yes. You know, I mean, you can't imagine, you know, uh, posing nude with one of your siblings. No. You know? No. Um, but I'm sure that, you know, the emotional, you know, and mental connection between twins is totally different. Apparently. Totally different. Apparently. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Now, in their family line, there 
were a lot of twins. Yeah, um, you know, their mother, you know, a few years down the road, had another set of twins. After one set, how do you financially recover from that? Can't, I mean, like we said, everything into everything in twos. Everything. Yeah. And then you got another set afterwards. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Just can't imagine. No. 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 Huh. Now this was their last major film role. They never did any other films after this. But, you know, I think that they had done very well in this. Their their acting is very good and believable. Yeah. And this one. Even though it is a later Hammer film, it definitely stays true to what we've grown to love about Hammer films. Oh, it does. I mean, all the imagery uh, and the scenery, the atmosphere. I yes. mean, everything about this is is wonderful Hammer. Yes, and I really enjoy how they intertwined the witch hunters and vampires. Yeah, and... The twins, the evil twin and the good twin. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I love the weaving of the stories. Yes. And one of my favorite scenes was when David Warbeck called out the Brotherhood because they were cool with burning up young girls or crazy old ladies. Right. But when it came down to a connected vampire. Yeah, they didn't want nothing to do with it. They were like, eh, there ain't nothing in the book about that. <laughs> I don't think you heard that right. Yeah, you're reading that You don't right. have your facts together. <laughs> He's like, y'all a bunch of punks. <laughs> he had to call them out. He called them out. He called them out. He was like, fire ain't gonna work. Right. You gotta go get some sticks. Right. Sharpen them up. Some axes. And let's go. Then y'all got excited. He was like, I got a couple of those at home. Uh, They're all running to grab their <laughs> axes. Well, you see, he was like, he got roast up there. You guys been eating them Granny Smith apples? <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. He ain't eating good. Right. He, he got food up there. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, and it's ours. Let's go get it. And then they were all in. They were in. Yeah. And I love the ending of the film. I mean, the beheading scene was fantastic. Yeah. And I guess there was supposed to be um, a scene where Frida uh, puts on a little show for Peter Cushing. Right. Right. But they did not use it. Because they didn't need it. They did not. No, they didn't need it. I mean, yeah, there's, there's some nudity in here, but it's important to the story. It is. Yeah. It is. And I think that this film is great for our lead up into spooky season. Oh, it definitely is. You know, yeah. this is a good one. It is. And we thank you for being here with us at Newcastle After Dark. We hope you join us again for the Lost Treasure in Cinema. And until next time, good night. <laughs>